How does one write code with a broken keyboard? Writing code with a broken keyboard can be a challenging task, but it is not impossible. There are several ways to work around a broken keyboard and continue to write code. One option is to use an on-screen keyboard. Many operating systems have an on-screen keyboard built in, which can be accessed by going to the accessibility settings. This can be useful if only a few keys on the physical keyboard are broken, as it allows you to use the remaining functional keys. However, it can be time-consuming to switch back and forth between the on-screen keyboard and the code editor, and it may also be difficult to use certain keyboard shortcuts. Another option is to use a virtual keyboard, which can be downloaded from the internet. Virtual keyboards can be used in any application, including code editors, and can provide more functionality than the built-in on-screen keyboard. However, like the on-screen keyboard, it may be difficult to use keyboard shortcuts with a virtual keyboard. You can also use a hardware keyboard emulator, which is a device that connects to your computer via USB and emulates a keyboard. This can be useful if your physical keyboard is completely broken, as it allows you to continue using your computer without needing to replace the keyboard. There are several different types of hardware keyboard emulators available, each with their own advantages and disadvantages. Another approach is to use speech-to-text software. Many modern computers and smartphones come with speech-to-text software built in, which can be used to dictate code into a code editor. This can be useful if your keyboard is completely broken, as it allows you to continue writing code without needing to use a physical keyboard. However, it can be difficult to use speech-to-text software to write code, as programming languages have specific syntax that may not be recognized by the software. You can also use a text editor that allows you to use the mouse to select and insert text. This can be useful if your keyboard is completely broken, as it allows you to continue writing code without needing to use a physical keyboard. However, it can be time-consuming and may not be as efficient as using a keyboard. In summary, writing code with a broken keyboard can be a challenging task, but there are several ways to work around it. Depending on the extent of the keyboard damage and the severity of the problem, one can use an on-screen keyboard, a virtual keyboard, a hardware keyboard emulator, speech-to-text software, or even a mouse-based text editor to continue coding.